Hey friends, today I am hanging out at the Magic Kingdom. Right now it is a light drizzle, but just a couple minutes ago it was a downpour. I mean, we got so much rain and it was very high winds. I was actually taking shelter and watching hundreds of people leave the park. So, I'm feeling like the park is pretty much empty at this point. And we're gonna take advantage of that and see what we can get done in just a little bit of time. Let's go do this. seeking shelter here at the Town Square Theater and look at this everyone's leaving like I said they got their umbrellas on their ponchos it was literally raining like crazy but now it's just a light drizzle so let's take advantage of that Mickey meet and greet was actually at a 50 minute wait and I think it dropped down to a 15 minute wait yep so let's go meet the man himself and it's a great place to actually dry off. I need to wipe my glasses. And if you can tell, I've been using my hat actually to block the microphone on the camera. It's a little trick I like to use this bad boy for. And it was like no wait at all. This ain't 15 minutes, holy moly. <laughs> One, thank you. <laughs> I still get excited to meet Mickey every single time. Even if I met him like a hundred times, it's still awesome. Good morning. Hi, pal. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I had no idea that Mary Poppins' umbrella is in your suitcase. She lent you some of her magic. That's amazing. Right there. Oh, man. The things you find out. No idea. You were definitely the master of magic. Thank you. <laughs> Look at that. I have never seen that. In a bottomless hat. You. You're good, you. <laughs> Bye, Mickey. Okay. I really never knew that Mary Poppins' umbrella was actually in Mickey's suitcase. That is like the coolest thing ever. I can't believe I've never noticed it before. And I asked and Mickey actually said that Mary Poppins loaned him some magic. And that's pretty amazing. Such cool things. You never, never seen it all. That's what I'm saying. And let's move along. I got here at five o'clock. It is 5.10 now. Literally took me 10 minutes to get in to see Mickey. That's pretty awesome. It's still pretty windy out, so I apologize in advance if there's a lot of mess up with the audio, but here she is. Look at this. Main Street looks empty. This is pretty awesome. I mean, it's still a little bit busy, but wow, it's a straight shot. <laughs> Those cast members holding the balloons, definitely gotta give it up to them. <laughs> and look at the front of the castle. Many of awesome photo opportunities when usually there's tons of people here. Oh man, look at this. Another thing that's been on my list of things that I have wanted to do for a while is Peter Pan's flight. So we're gonna see what the wait time is for that right now. And maybe we'll get lucky and get on very quickly. And away we go.
delightful flight I have to say I loved it so amazing bye bye and now it's only 547 so in just 47 minutes I got to meet Mickey Mouse ride Peter Pan's flight and basically just roam around the central hub area not a bad way to start and since it's close to six o'clock, there's something that I've always wanted to do, and I might as well get something to eat too. So I'm gonna go into Pinocchio's village, and I'm gonna see if it's available. I've always wanted to eat in here and actually play with the signs and play with the people that are riding Small World. So we're gonna get something to eat and then come back and wait for a table to open up. This is gonna be fun. And it's also been forever since I've actually eaten anything in here, so I don't even know what's on the menu. Yes, now I remember we have flatbreads, chicken parm pasta, chicken parm sandwich, chicken nuggets, some penne pasta with marinara sauce. Ooh, I'm thinking about that chicken parm sandwich. Maybe. I went with the chicken parm sandwich. Oh, there it is. I didn't know it was going to be on a hamburger bun. Oh. It's kind of like a chicken burger. Oh, and I found a table. Look at that. Lucky, lucky, lucky. So here we are, and here are the signs. Say M I C K E Y M O U S E. M I C. <laughs> hey, why? <laughs> I'm dropping them. M O U S upside down. E. <laughs> there we go. Now we're getting some people say M I C. K E Y. M O U S E. <laughs> that was actually really fun it's something that I can officially check off my bucket list because I've always wanted to do that oh and I didn't talk about my food it was just a chicken parm sandwich or chicken marinara sandwich whatever you like to call it it was pretty good but I mean it was just a quick service chicken sandwich on a bun with some marinara sauce so you know some french fries too we're going to journey back down to Tomorrowland, but I want to point out the pathway on the side of the castle. Ain't nobody over here. I like it. Oh, look, you can just kind of like hang out here. I like this too. This really is a good spot to just hang out. Look at all the water's dried up here though. The moat's dried up. Looks like they're doing some refurbishment there. But look at that castle. Beautiful, isn't she? Now let's go check on the people mover. I wouldn't mind taking a little spin through Tomorrowland. And you know what they say about the people mover. It's the perfect form for people watching. And to keep your eyes open, you never know who you're going to see. Here we go. It's time for some people watching on the people mover. Hi! <laughs> there we are. Always got to face this way. I don't know why, I just like it. Wow, look how empty Tomorrowland is down there. Wow, it is only 6.30. Alright, here we go, this is my favorite part. It's where you kind of like take off. Any second now. Any second. Oh, 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 there we go. 
Here comes some more people moving friends. Bye! I like your hat. <laughs> Ooh, I think after this we're gonna go see about getting on Space Mountain. Please contact Mr. Johnson in the control tower to confirm your flight to the moon. I can't see what the wait time is, but it doesn't look like a lot of people down there. No, it says 60 minutes. Oh, no. Coming up on that castle shot again. So drop in and join Mike Wazowski and all his pals at Monsters Incorporated platform. That was awesome. I love the people mover. Such a relaxing ride. Like, you just sit back and go. It's just relaxing. Oh, look at that. When we were riding the people mover, it said 60 minutes. Now it says 40 minutes. So let's see how long it takes for me to get up there. It says 45 minute wait. It is 7.05. I'm probably going to take advantage of the single rider separation. Well, let's just test it. Looking pretty promising. Now it's looking very promising. Attention Space Mountain passengers, if traveling as a party of one, please alert the flight crew. 718. So what? 14 minutes? And look it. We get to go right up and pass out all these people because we're party of one. Gotta take the hat off. Here we go. I put the hat back on! <laughs> I think that was a great way to cap off the night. It's starting to rain again, so I think we're gonna call it a night. It is now 7.30. So, in basically two hours, we got to meet Mickey, we got to ride Peter Pan's flight, got to eat at Pinocchio's Village, I took a bunch of photo pass for uh, photo shots too, and rode Space Mountain and the People Mover. Not bad for two hours. So, we'll see you next time. Bye. Did somebody just leave their sandals there?